Okay, giant Ant-Man, monster, doom guy, all the dragon and shit, step aside. Big bird has arrived, bitch. Well, I can say for sure this is not what, how I wanted to start my day. Carrying out all the empty bottles that all had, you know, that little bit of beer still left in them. Dropped them and spilt it everywhere. It's gone in every nook and every cranny of my window and my floorboards. Yay! We're starting today off as a potato. Carl's on his way around. Uh, that's my sister's fiance, Carl. He's on his way around. We're going to have a brew. And I'm going to plan what I want to do today. No plan of action as of just yet, but I want to do something like productive. I've gained a friend. Why does my like knee just look mad weird? It doesn't even look like it's mine. It just looks like a, a little specimen of flesh. <laughs> well, that just doesn't even sound like that. A specimen of flesh. So today, the insurance on my car ran out. Womp womp. But that just gives me a good excuse to get on the motorbikes instead. So, we're gonna go for a ride on the XJ6, go and get my hair cut, and basically, start the day. Rather late, obviously. Oh, she's a beast. Let's, set, let's pop the doors. Doors opening. Bike ready, warmed up. I've put some oil on this bad boy. She's gonna be a bit rusty because I've not rode her for a while, but let's listen to her. Oh, beautiful. Okie dokie Jones, haircut acquired, I, I literally went like that to show you my haircut then now But haircut acquired, and if you're watching this now, this is like the, 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 the daily vlog to today But the one that you saw yesterday was just a one video of me walking around Which I'm about to go and film because I did nothing all day yesterday Like I didn't do anything, like I might add in the, like, the one clip of something I did So it does class as the daily vlog, but I literally did nothing So I've got like a one video that I want to talk about on the vlogging channel and stuff like that and then post it because it's really, really important. So if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, it's like a really, really important update and you guys need to go and watch it. So time to go get some food and head home because I'm absolutely shaking. It's like 5.52 right now and I've eaten no food. So I've got to get out and about and get fucking motivated. Oh, look at them together. They're beautiful. Look at my babies. I'm so proud of them. Like the, the whole point, when I first got this bike, I was like, right, from this point on, I'm getting every color of vehicle, car, everything in this like, what's it called again? Daytona Gray. So Daytona Gray bike, Daytona Gray car. Boy, it's actually a shinier version of Daytona Gray. So we won't talk about that, but I was going to get them all like that and then get the calipers on that put blue. So every little trim piece looks all the same, but I'm leaving the bike here with the helmet on top of it, hoping that a fucking crow doesn't nick it so I can go and take care of yesterday's vlog. Okay then, I totally forgot that my dad was gonna drop off these three boxes, set these three boxes down here that contain nothing but pot figures. Oh my God, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room on my shelves to put them on, but we're gonna have to make space. Well, first of all, I still haven't eaten anything all day, so we're going out getting some food. I'm thinking, unfortunately, it might be KFC, so we'll just have to see how things go. Really don't want KFC, because it's not good for you. Neither is anything I eat, but eh, screw it. And I don't know how I'm gonna, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna transport the KFC on a bike. I, I just give myself obstacles in life. All right, well, it took me, going to KFC, it took me 35 minutes to just go in and get three strips and a burger. It was unreal. Hide KFC, is absolutely terrible like service for how long it takes like ridiculous don't ever go there if you're in the local area you'll you'll completely understand what i'm saying but i already ate my strip and now i'm eating my classic burger which god damn it looks pretty good and no you can't have any before you get before you start getting jealous you're not a lot no you, you don't don't start to oh god i dropped it don't start turning on the semi offering me pies when you want a slice of my chicken sandwich you're not having any this is my chicken sandwich and you're not having any. Got a question for you. Have you seen that baby? Have you seen that baby? It's there. Are you sure that's me? Yeah. That's a fat baby though. Yeah, like Was a fat baby. A fat little chubster. Why is this camera just not gonna fuck? That is a fat little baby, mate. I had issues Alice back then. Alice is only about three there. Isn't well, she? Alice looks fine. That's me mum, my granddad, Alice, and then me is a fat little baby. I need to replace the battery and chain on this one, which I hope I might actually try and do this week. Look at this. I put on a Syndicate original sticker on there and it's still on to this day. Yes. Wait, is there a, is there a Syndicate sticker on it as well? Like, there's an old school. Yeah, look at that. That's not even part of the bike. It's just something from a biking race. Because look, it's got a mountain biker in the middle of it. Is that actually a person's face? No idea who that is or what that is, but it's a cool ass sticker anyway. And whenever I see cool stickers like this, it reminds me of how I like, I was literally 
like probably last year. I was so close to starting a company just based around stickers because I love stickers. Speaking of which, we'll just leave the bike running. Speaking of which, I'll show you my sticker wall. Now, I know I've got to add to it, but this is my current sticker wall that looks pretty, oh, I don't know what that's coming off, it looks terrible. I got too many of them in it. These are from all the Razor products and they just keep giving me extra ones. So I need to fill this wall with stickers. And if this one just gets too full too quick, which it might, I think I'm gonna sticker bomb the entirety of that wall. I know it may look a little bit weird and less professional, but like there's pieces of wooden shit all over it right now. So if I could sticker bomb this wall, it might look sick. I need to give this little bitch a name. She's so cute, look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. We need to know what mileage my car has done uh, to work out my insurance. So where are we on? Let's go to menu car and is it got a lifetime mileage no oh there 3829 miles in a year damn that's all i've done flipping heck it is indeed 225 in the morning right now i'm actually kind of spooked out by my windows can you guys see this this like weird condensation mist on my windows looks like naked bodies have been pressed up against it i can see the outline of like like what looks to be a human body so hopefully my house isn't going to get broke into by half-naked dudes or women. That would just be kind of fucking weird. But yeah, look at it. Whoa. This is well spooky. Like, proper, proper spooky. All my, all my windows and stuff have got, like, misted up, and it's only in certain spots on my window. That's well freaking weird. I'm not a fan of that. But okie dokie, Jones. We have business to take care of. Three big-ass boxes containing lots of presents. All right, chapettes and chaps, this is where we're up to. We have completely filled one shelf to the T right now. We've got this shelf, which, you know, we've got some spare room. We can get rid of these ornaments and we could probably fit a few more in here. It just depends how we gotta go. This is the big shelf only. This is where like the big ones go like, this is actually a pop vinyl, so is this, and like, so is the train as well. This shelf is duplicates and the reason we got the duplicates, it's gonna gonna auction these off for charity. So I got the hiccups all of a sudden, which is pretty good. We don't have this one on, so we need to try and squeeze this onto the Star Wars shelf somewhere, but where are we gonna do that? I just don't have a goddamn clue. And pretty much all the rest of this shelf is full, so I don't know where I'm gonna put the rest of these because I can't put them onto here, because again, it's a door and they'll just get knocked over, so we're probably gonna have to squeeze them all into these remaining shelves and just kind of hope for the best, so. Let's get some boxes open and see how many more we've got to add to the collection. Okay, yeah, at this stage, this just isn't even funny. Look how many I've got to try and add onto the shelves. Like, I'm so glad people have like gifted me these, but like, this is a mighty lot of amount. Now, there's quite a few duplicates here, so I'm just going to go through and put to one side which are the duplicates. But, oh my god, I'm going to count and see how many I've got from um, EGX alone. In total, from four days at a gaming event at EGX, 54 were given to me. I'm pretty sure it actually it might have been more than 54, that R2-D2, which, where did I just put it? I, I, I was going to say, I just managed to get it on the shelf. He's in there. I think that might have been from the show as well. If it's not, I'm pretty sure I had some like, individual ones on their own that I've somehow added to the shelf. But 54 in total. Don't forget, some of these are duplicates, so I'm going to separate the duplicate ones and add them over to the boxes over here because these are all duplicates as well. But, oh, my Lord. This is a sweet amount of pop vinyls. This is an odd one. I just realized that I do not have Ant-Man on like the Avengers shelf over here. Like, I know he's not in the Avengers, the team, but you know, he's in Civil War and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, I actually don't have it. Well, thank goodness at the show, I got given giant Iron Man. Look at the size of it compared to a standard one. That is ridiculous. So he's gonna go on the shelf over here of like big characters. So this is obviously, oh, these are two, two from the same universe. This is from Evolve. This is from Skyrim, I believe. I'm pr Wait, I'm pretty sure this is Skyrim, I think. I think it's official to say I have fully run out of room on the Star Wars shelf right now. Someone gave me this clone trooper one. Again, no name on the box. If they put a name on the box, then I can show it in the vlog and be like, hey, thank you at, the, at that moment in time. I always thank people in person when they give them to me, but when I, like, I film in the vlog, it's nice to thank them again. But yeah, I don't think I can fit any more room on here unless we like, I know we might do some magic and try and get this one on the shelf because I don't think I have any of the Star Wars here ones to add on. And after that, I'm pretty sure I've got all of them. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Look at this. I got Voldemort looking like, what the fuck, bro? Why are you looking at me like this? We do have another one for the Harry Potter collection. <gasps> what? You can get Dumbledore? Oh, actually, no. Sorry. I actually looked straight at Hagrid and said Dumbledore. But I, you can get 
Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, Albus Dumbledore, I'll just show you. Severus Snape, Lord Voldemort, and Hagrid. Now we have Harry Potter, we have Ron, we don't have Hermione, we have Dumbledore, no Snape, Lord Voldemort, and if I can get Hagrid, that'll be just sick, because then we can officially say you're a wizard. So Stacey and Anthony, thank you very much. You might be like, oh, that's so cute and fluffy. No, this is a character out of Frozen. Shannon, thank you for that, but oh, you row my biscuits. Wait, do I actually have the Frozen Elsa? I'm sure, I'm sure she's on here somewhere, but she's just hiding. Let's just say that. And then, oh my God, look how good this is. Goddamn Slimer. When you look at these collections, you've got like Star Wars, you've got figures like that. You know, you've got like the characters from up, like everything, 300, Harry Potter, Breaking Bad, so many characters from anything. You know, bronies, my little pony, that sort of thing. Uh, but I, I don't think at any point I would have thought the company, after, you know, following all these shows and TV series and stuff, would have made the Sharknado official pop vinyl. So the fact that they've made this gives me hope to think that maybe, just maybe one day, they'll make a YouTuber collection. It makes so much sense to do one. I honestly don't understand why they haven't done it yet, but, man, that'd be pretty sweet. And I've just noticed... That, oh god, this is gonna, this is gonna become official. All these badass looking ones, and then all of a sudden, another damn brony. So, I think we're gonna have to take this pony, brony, I meant to say pony. We're gonna have to take this pony and put it on this shelf. This is gonna be like the, the, the wall of like, boring looking characters. I'm not gonna lie, because they're like wearing, they're wearing suits and stuff. Yeah, obviously we've got Robocop who can come up here and he can chill out with Bumblebee or something like that. And, let's take, is this Cry, Cry, Cryos? Cryos? I don't know, actually, it's not Cryos Gaming on YouTube. <laughs> But we'll make this like the, the boring wearing suit shelf. I know it's not fun, uh, but it's all the way in the bottom corner so no one can see it anyway. And we'll add the extra My Little Pony onto the shelf. So we have Fluttershy and I actually can't remember who this is. I know the bronies in the comments are going to kill me. I'm not officially a brony, by the way. It's just now that I have two My Little Pony items in my house, so you know. People are going to put like want, like things together and be like, Tom, you, you sure you're not a fan of the pony bronies? And I'll be like, I cannot deny it. It is a fact. So as to what's going on with the collections now, I've added, I've got the full set of Power Rangers. So up here, we've got all the Deadpools, we've got all the Ninja Turtles, we then have the random guy from Up who's just pissed off, and then we have the Power Ranger set. So we've got like a full team there, plus the Chimichongas van with Deadpool rocking and rolling in it. And down here, this is, this is the weirdest combination, I think, of the entire lot. So over here, you've got Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, another Pac-Man here, and now we've got Ghostbusters, so we have a Ghostbuster here, a Ghostbuster here. So I thought, seems though we have, I think this is called Mrs. Pinky or Mr. Pinky, or what? I'm pretty sure it's Mrs. But we now have Slimer over here on the left-hand side as well, so this is the Game of Thrones meets Ghostbusters meets Pac-Man um, movie franchise idea. So if any creators out there want to make some fucking cool or fan art or anything like that, or some animations, this is your cast to play with, so... Yeah, it, it is what it is. Nailed it, managed to squeeze, well, it looks a bit tight, but I managed to squeeze all of them into it now. So there is my latest addition to the Star Wars one, and at this point, I'm pretty sure, wait, where's the, where's the box for that? Here it is. Yeah, look at how many boxes I've got. This is, okay, well, no. I was just about to say, pretty sure I've collected them all, but no way, I don't have that Han Solo, I don't have, I don't have any of them, except Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight back there, I don't have any other of them ones, I only have the one clone trooper, so there's even more to try and collect. So this might have to be a Star Wars shelf, and this one as well might be, because I got the Batmans chilling up here, and like the Back to the Future and X-Men, but I'm just kind of running out of space. I really need to stop organizing them in like TV show sets and stuff like that, but it feels kind of nice to do it, but at the same time, it's just, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to do it. It's going to get to a point where I've completely run out of room, but freaking hell, look at all them. But oh, look at these. These are the, these are the, uh, I was going to say, what, what is this? As far as organization goes, I think I've kind of nailed it. I've moved a few of them around so they're together, like the Frozen one. We've got Elsa. I'm pretty sure that's Elsa in the movie. And then her, like, little moose thing over here, reindeer, whatever it is. But, yeah, we've got, like, all the fighters up here. We've got, like, the, the cutesy-looking characters here, you know, like little animations and stuff. We've got Nemo over here looking at the little cutie guy. I didn't realize that I have two Sesame Seed. Seed? Seed? seed. Two Sesame Street characters over here. We could put them with the Big Bird, but I'm keep, keeping them separate. We have the fighting team plus the, the one angry guy. I don't know why I put him from there from Inside Out. Then we've got Ghostbusters meets Pac-Man meets Game of Thrones. Then we have random people in suits meets Assassin's Creed and Gotham. Sure, why the hell not? 
Down here we've got um, Fallout along the back. That's every single Fallout character that I have, like, you know, the suits, the Fallout Boy, uh, the dog meat, stuff like that. So that's, and the ghouls looking pretty cool. You got the two the two penguins, and then we got, you know, obviously minions because we had to throw minions in here somewhere. Then we've got a bit of a random one because I'm not too sure whether, like, I know these are obviously the same, but I'm not too sure whether that's from the same universe as that, which I think it is. If it's not, then I fucked up because then I think that's from the same universe as them. But it might be wrong, but then again, you've got a character from Doom meets Bumblebee meets Sharknado. So it's just, it's, it's all I could do. So there you go, that's that shelf. Then we have the Breaking Bad meets uh, Deadpool. Why? I don't know, I just felt like it was necessary. I could move that onto here, like move the Power Rangers off there and the Ninja Turtles and stuff. Move them off there and have that Deadpool only shelf. But I don't know, I just thought it was funny having Breaking Bad and Deadpool. It just seems necessary to go together. The big collection, guys. The Harry Potter collection, I, I gave a bit more of a better organisation for these dudes up here. Again, uh, duplicates. Uh, eh, there's not much I can do with this shelf because I need to I need to get in. I need to get light and installed on the top of these. That'd be pretty cool because then it could like cast a down light on these or whatever. Uh, but yeah, then we got these bad boys up top. Down the shelf, Star Wars looking mighty mighty packed. Then we got these over here, which a new addition to this was the Flash wearing this suit and also. Punisher, I completely forgot about that. As to why he's green, I actually really don't understand that, but we've got a green Punisher, sure. Over here again, we've got a Sergeant Frank Woods that we added to this. And then this bad boy I forgot to point out, we actually got the Hulk, so that's pretty cool. We've got the Hulk to add to the collection, which is mighty goddamn fine. And um, black suit Spider-Man, not too sure about that one, but seeing as though he's in the Avengers world, I threw him down here. So that's my collection so far. Um, I'll do a quick count, see how many I've got in total that are not duplicates, like we'll ignore the duplicates and I'll count these and see how many I've got. Ooh, okay, so after counting all of them, mother of tits on a pancake, 195 non-duplicates on here. I don't want to be an idiot, I don't know whether I actually counted these or not, so I don't want to say I got 200, but 195 Pop vinyl figures on this shelf, and then we, I've probably got about 20 spares, but oh my god, look at all the boxes from this. And thank you to the people who hid letters in them. Like, it does make it difficult uh, when people leave letters in there when I'm opening them dead fast to get them out. So, pro tip, I wouldn't hide your letter in the back of them. Give that to me in person so then I can, I know you've given it to me, and I'll definitely, definitely read it and not accidentally lose it. I don't think I've lost any. I, I triple checked. After the first one I opened, there was a letter in the back of it, so I checked all of them, but just for future reference and stuff. But yeah, a hundred... And 95. This is the biggest collection of anything I've ever had in my life. Like, I used to collect like Pokemon cards when I was younger, uh, the James Bond magazines. I think there was only like 30 of them or like 50 of them, but this is by far the biggest collection of anything I've ever had in my life. So, oh my days. GG. Okay, time to end the vlog the next day. Could have done it the same day, but it was 3 o'clock in the morning and I was very tired. But we're starting today going off to like a little animal zoo, which should be awesome. So you'll have to find out what happens there in tomorrow's vlog at 6 p.m. UK time. So mum, do the outro for me. Tell everyone to subscribe, make sure you like, and see you tomorrow. Please remember to subscribe, leave a like rating, see you tomorrow. There you go. Adios.